Take a look at this fighter kite flyer flying a North American fighter kite. He's standing with his back directly into the wind. The wind is pushing against his back. It's also pushing against the front face of the kite. We're looking at the back side of the kite from downwind. Look at his hands. Both hands are on the flying line. They're not gripping the line particularly tightly, but he has both hands on his flying line, so he knows where that flying line is at all times. He's not looking at the flying line. He's not looking at his hands. He's looking at the nose of his kite. Look at the reel. It's a little ways in front of his feet. And if you take a look, you can see flying line on the ground, all around his feet and on the sand. This is typical and this is how you handle flying line when flying a North American fighter kite. Now his kite from our view is going to the right. Let's say that he wants that kite to continue to fly right parallel to the ground, what does he have to do? He has to maintain a uniform amount of wind pressure on the sail of that kite. And as, he, as long as he does that, that kite will fly straight to the right, to our right. Now, as that kite moves to the right, the natural wind pressure is going to be reduced. The farther to the right the kite flies, the greater the reduction of natural wind pressure is going to occur on that kite sail. Now he, as a flyer, will recognize when this happens and as it happens from how he feels the response of the kite in his hands through his flying line. As he notices that the natural wind pressure is reducing its intensity on the kite sail, he's going to increase that wind pressure himself to compensate. And to do that, he's going to retrieve flying line. He's going to pull in flying line to make up the difference in wind pressure that's naturally being reduced as the kite flies farther and farther to the right. When the kite gets parallel to his shoulders, for example, or lined up with his shoulders, it's, it's been flown roughly in uh, an arc there will be almost no natural wind on that kite sail. He'll have to provide all the wind through his line handling. Now this is uh, the part of fighter kite flying that's important for especially newer flyers to recognize, is that the wind pressure changes. It changes as the kite moves farther to the right or farther to the left or farther upward and or overhead. Those are the things that change the kite behavior if you are not paying attention to it and compensating for the difference in wind pressure through changes you make in the flying line. 